Hey guys, welcome back to Built by Design. Uh, I'm Nate the Intern, and let's get started with design optimization. So previously, in, we talked about how we can lay out our robots using two-dimensional sketches. This video is gonna show us how to leverage those two-dimensional sketches to create optimized robots. The best teams out there take the time not only to build their designs well, but to optimize their initial designs to gain a competitive advantage. A great example would be Team 33, the Killer Bees, in their 2011 robot submission. I think that's pretty impressive, the way they're able to use the claw not only to score incredibly effectively, but to then reach backwards and load the tubes at a perfect height. That's true design optimization. I'm going to show you how you can give your team that same competitive advantage using the form tool in Autodesk Inventor. So the first thing we're going to have to do is go into our sketch that we had from last time and establish something called parameters. Parameters are akin to variables. They allow you to reference a value by name as opposed to by number. In this, in Autodesk Inventor, it's as easy as double clicking on your dimension and simply entering a name without spaces, setting it and saying equal to a value. I just defined my first parameter. Now, in order to save time, I'm gonna go through and do this to all of my parameters I wanna set, and then I'll, we'll come back. Now that we have all of our parameters set, we need to go, we need to click finish sketch, go to the manage tab, and click on the iLogic browser. Now depending on whether you've used the iLogic browser before, it may pop up as a window or it may pop up pre-docked in the browser on your left. I always drag and drop it into the browser to cons conserve space and allow a less cluttered work area. Now right click in the forms box and click add form. After that, a dialog window will pop up and we'll be able to edit our, fo our, our first form. So let's go in, shift select all of the, th the three parameters that we've set and drag them into the form. Now you can see that on the right, my form is already being built, but just text boxes is gonna be really hard as far as design and as far and editing our distances in real time. So let's go in and change these to sliders. Now, in slider properties, we need to change things so that, for example, our arm length is not a one to 10 inch scale. We need it to be an 80 to 40 inch scale. And we will we'll be okay with one inch increments though. Now, for arm angle, everyone knows that the average arm in first doesn't go more than 180 degrees. And so we can say that the minimum value is one. And in this case, we're gonna say 179 degrees. That'll keep our arm from going ever going perfectly vertical and will make things a lot easier. Um, and lastly, let's go to arm height. Turn that into a slider again. Again, click the plus sign next to slider properties. And for arm height, the maximum value would be 60 inches minus the three for our wheels, which will give us 57. And the minimum value we'll say, just to make it easy on us, is 40. And now we have completed our form. I'm gonna click OK and my form is going to disappear, but then there's going to be a, now a form one button underneath the forms tab. So I'm going to click on that. And there we have it. I can adjust arm height, arm angle, and arm length all in real time. So let's say for instance, we knew, knew we wanted to make a robot that only had to have a one piv one pivot point. I would maximize my arm height, reduce my arm angle down, 
figure out how sh sh long my arm can be before in its starting configuration, then expand that out and say, okay, well, if I had a one foot throw piston, that arm could then extend 12 inches. So I'll extend that out like that. And all of a sudden I realize that my arm doesn't need to be very complicated. Figuring out ways to simplify your designs is gonna give you the competitive advantage you need in the 2012 season. Hopefully you can leverage all of these form tools I just showed you to design robots that not only have better arms, but more efficient drivetrains, more efficient ground clearance, anything that you can do to create a robot that is gonna be easier for your, your team to build and more effective out in the competition. Until next time, I'm Nate the Intern. Good luck out there.